This remnant of aviation's golden age spent decades trapped in amber. The Fairchild 71's origins are clear enough. Fairchild built the airplane in 1929. It first flew a few months before the stock market crash put a lid on the Roaring Twenties. Where the pioneering seven-seat airplane went and what it did during its youth is unknown. But by the 1970s, it was done flying, disassembled, and stacked in pieces at an out-of-the-way crop duster strip near Caldwell, Idaho. There, the irascible owner, Eugene o. Frank, kept it under lock and key, along with the bones of dozens of other golden era airplanes. That's when Marlon Horst, a general aviation pilot, business owner, and amateur aircraft restorer in Southern Pennsylvania stepped in. Marlon owned a company that specialized in making high-end cabinets for luxury homes. He decided to apply some of those skills to the Fairchild 71, which had folding wood wings, wooden formers in its fuselage, and ornate wood window frames, among other accessories. Marlon took nine years to restore the Fairchild 71 alongside his son, Kendall. They installed a freshly overhauled 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney R985 engine because the original Snapcat models were unobtainable and less reliable. They installed modern radios and intercom and GPS and ADS-B equipment for navigation and airspace access. They used current fabric and coatings for longer life and they chose their own colors and design scheme too. It took home top prizes, including a rare Golden Lindy at EAA Air Venture. The rescued airplane is a beautiful relic of the golden age of aviation, and the restoration gave Marlin and Kendall the opportunity to work closely together to revive an exceptional historical airplane. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.